Hello and welcome to One Church. We are so glad that you've joined us for this short church today. We're about to have a time of worship and an amazing word from Pastor Nathan. We pray that God ministers to you and changes your world today. I saw Satan fall like lightning. I saw darkness run for cover. But the miracle that Signs and wonders. I have resurrection power. Still the miracle that I just can't get over. My name is registered in heaven. Yeah, my praise belongs to you forever. This is my testimony from death to Grace rewrote my story, and I'll testify. By Jesus Christ the righteous, I'm justified. This is my testimony. This is my testimony. Oh. Come together, sons and daughters. I want to bring a short message of encouragement for you today from the book of Ephesians and specifically chapter 2. It starts with this, as for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins. Be encouraged. Um, but it goes on to say of each of us, Ephesians 2 verses 4, but 
because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in our transgressions. This is the good news um, of the gospel, of the Christian message, that even when we were far from God, even when we couldn't do anything to earn his love, his acceptance or connection with him, he reached out to us. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever would believe in him wouldn't perish but have everlasting life. That's what John 3.16 says. And the good news that we find in Ephesians is that not because of our own works or because of our own good merit, but because of his great love for us in Christ, we've been made alive. It goes on to say this in verse 10, for we are God's workmanship, his masterpiece created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which he has prepared in advance for us to do. My encouragement for you today, wherever you're listening to this from, wherever you are at, is that we are made alive in Christ to do good works. It's not how good you are. It's not how right or wrong you get this life. It's simply a matter of belief in the finished work of Jesus on the cross that we can know forgiveness, acceptance, um, and we can be made alive in Christ. Why? To do good works that he's prepared for us in advance to do. Now, that's something that I believe. That's a, a, something that I've accepted. I feel like I have been made alive in Christ. As true as that is, sometimes I don't always live that way. Sometimes I live in a way that kind of like doesn't reflect that at all. Like my actions, my thoughts, my words, they, they don't reflect the fact that I am made alive in Christ. I think of it this way sometimes. Um, last year, I moved house and it was a big process. If you've ever moved house, you'll know this, that it's, it's a lot. There's a lot of work. There's a lot of effort. You have to book moving vans. You have to like get solicitors involved. All of these things. It takes a lot to move house. And we finally got in a whole week of decorating. We settled into the new place. Um, and even with that, as involved as that was, as difficult as the move was, I still found myself from time to time driving to my old house. If I was tired or late at night, I'd find myself just out of habit driving and pulling up on my old driveway. I remember one particular night, I got up, got, got onto the driveway, got out of my car, looked at the house and realised, I don't, I don't live here anymore, this isn't my house. Um, that could be the same, that's, that's a picture if you want, to reflect how it is with our faith, that though we are made alive in Christ, though God's got good things for us to do, we can sometimes live as, as though that's not true and live how we used to live, think how we used to think, act as we used to act and we can find ourselves, metaphorically, pulling up on the old driveway not reflecting the fact that we're made alive in Christ. Now, here's my encouragement, here's my advice for you today, is that if you do that, if you find yourself thinking wrong thoughts, speaking the wrong words, living in a way that you know, like, this is not how I'm supposed to be living, if you pull up on the old driveway, here's my advice and my encouragement. Don't stay there. Don't stay on the old driveway. For me, when I got out of the car, I recognised that wasn't my house. What did I do? I got back into my car, and I drove back to my house. I drove back to where I did live, to where I had relocated to. And in our lives and in our faith and in our journey of following Jesus, sometimes we'll get it right, sometimes we'll get it wrong. But when we get it wrong, when we drop the ball, when we mess up, when we say the wrong thing, do the wrong thing, act in a way that doesn't reflect we're made alive with Christ, don't stay there. Don't have a pity party on the old driveway. How ridiculous would it have been if I had got out of my car, realised, oh, that's not my house, but I'm here now. May as well walk in, make myself a cup of tea. Like, that's how you get arrested. Don't stay there. And my encouragement, wherever you are at, each and every day, remind yourself of the good news that's in Ephesians 2. I've been, I've been made alive in, in Christ. I'm seated with Christ in heavenly places, is what it goes on to say. He's got good works, which he's prepared in advance for me to do. There is something for you to do today. There's something for me to do today. There are good works that we've been created to accomplish. And the quicker we can remind ourselves of that. If we can tell ourselves each and every day the truth of how God has saved us, has made us alive with Christ, then and only then I believe are we able to do the good works that he's prepared for us in advance to do. So my short encouragement, my prayer for you today is this, go home, recognise what God has done for you. It's not because of how good you are or how bad you are, it's because of his great love for you. He sees you, he knows you, he loves you, he's got good things for you to do today. If you're not living in that way, if you're not there, go home. Hey, I don't live there anymore. I've been relocated with Christ. That's my encouragement. I'd love to pray for you 
here at the end of Short Church today. So Father, I thank you for the good news that we read in Scripture. Thank you, God, because of your great love for us. You have made us alive in Christ to do good works that you've prepared for us in advance to do. And I pray whoever is listening to this, wherever they are at, if they feel like they're, they're living in that way, reflecting that, then great, encourage them today, God. But for, for those, that, those of us that sometimes stray from that, that end up on the old driveway, help us, God, to each and every day head back to where you need us to be to remind ourselves of the truth of your love and of your grace. And God, help us to step into the good works that you've called us to do today, be it in school, be it in the workplace, in our families. Help us to know we're made alive in Christ to do good works, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining us today for Short Church. If you want to connect in with us as a church any further, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or click the link and you can find out all about our online or in-person services. We'd love for you to join us there.